In the occupied territories, the rival Palestinian political faction Fatah and Hamas have reached an agreement to end their nearly five-year rift. The agreement reportedly covers several major points of contention, including the formation of a transitional government, security arrangements, release of all prisoners with a non-criminal background, and the restructuring of the Palestine Liberation Organization to allow Hamas's membership. The two sides have been locked in a bitter conflict since Fatah and the Bush administration tried to overthrow Gaza's Hamas-led government in 2006 after Hamas won Palestinian national elections. Israel says it'll continue to reject any peace negotiations with a government that includes Hamas. The Obama administration signaled its opposition to the deal by reiterating the long-standing U.S. designation of Hamas as a terrorist organization. Thirteen Palestinian factions, including Fatah and Hamas, have signed a reconciliation deal that'll pave the way for elections within a year. The deal was signed following talks with Egyptian officials in Cairo. Meanwhile, Palestinian Prime Minister Salam Fayyad says the Palestinian Authority may not be able to pay for the salaries for about 130,000 public employees or anything else if Israel does not release about $100 million in funds collected over the last month on behalf of the Palestinian Authority. Israel withholding the funds to punish Fatah for reaching a deal with Hamas. Fayyad said, quote, Israel has no right to withhold this money. This is Palestinian money, and it's not a grant or charity from Israel. Palestinian leaders gathered in Cairo Wednesday to mark the signing of a unity deal between the main factions Fatah and Hamas. Pre Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and Hamas leader Khaled Mashal held their first face-to-face -face meeting since 2006. Palestinian activist Mustafa Borghouti called on the international community to back the deal. What you've seen today is not only a sign of unity, but I hope you've read in the speeches that were made a sign of, mo of, of moderation from all Palestinians, including Hamas. And that's a very important step forward. Uh, I believe that uh, Europe, United States, everybody in this world should support the unity agreement. Israel, of course, is against the unity agreement, and that's very clear. Why? Because Mr. Lieberman, who doesn't know how to speak diplomatically, said it very clearly. He said, we want Palestinians to remain divided so that they remain weak. And we want to be unified so that we become powerful and strong, so that we can achieve real peace. Israel has rejected the pact with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, calling it, quote, a tremendous blow to peace. Israeli Vice Premier Sylvan Shalom said Israel will redouble its effort to oppose recognition of Palestinian statehood at the United Nations. What needs to be done these days is to prevent those efforts of the Palestinians to get the recognition in the UN Assembly to have a new Palestinian state. Because if we will give them the recognition, it will help the Iranians to build one more front base here within the Middle East. The Obama administration, meanwhile, has also refused to back the unity deal. In Washington, State Department spokesperson Mark Toner called on Hamas to accept longstanding international demands. Long, uh, the principles to which we think uh, uh, any Hamas uh, uh, element in the government would have to adhere to. Um, and uh, th that is, uh, you know, recognition of the state of Israel, a commitment to nonviolence, and the acceptance of the previous agreements uh, and obligations between the parties, including the roadmap. Um, we've been clear about those all along, that if, if, if the Hamas wants to play a meaningful role in the political process there, and indeed in the, in the, in the, in the peace process, uh, uh, and, and they, they, need to, uh, they need to adhere to these principles. Critics have accused the U.S. of hypocrisy, because neither the U.S. or Israel accept the same principles toward the Palestinians, with U.S. backing the Israeli government's refuse to recognize an independent Palestinian state in the occupied territories, commit to nonviolence, and accept previous agreements, such as the roadmap.